Mark from Vortec Pro, video number 16. Uh, we want to thank everybody for watching our videos. Uh, it's been a while since we've made any. Uh, we just so busy in the shop, so we had to take a break, but we're going to try to get back on track here and uh, make some more videos on our 620 horse 454 build. So on our last video, we put the guides in the heads. We machined the valve spring pockets, and we were to the point where we needed to hone the valve guides. So I've done that, and I'm going to show you how we how we do that process. Uh, we use a bronze K-line guide, and uh, if you want to come in here, Tom, you can show what the guide looks like after it's been honed, and I'm going to. The reason the guide is honed is because we like to straighten, it straightens the guide and makes it round, which is very, very important to get, getting a concentric valve job. Uh, it's, it's the start of the valve job and it's so important. Uh, having the proper clearance between the valve stem and the guide is critical because it transfers heat. Uh, it allows you to get a real good contact patch on your valve job. And again, that contact patch from the head of the valve to the seat transfers heat up through the valve. And then the guide, with the clearance being correct, transfers heat through the valve stem through the guide. And uh, so important to a really good valve job that'll last. I can't stress that enough. So what we're going to do is show you how we hone the guides to size. Okay, this is our sun in hone all this is what we hone the valve guides with what you have here obviously is a drill turning it with a stone a stone right here and a mandrel this this hone feeds out this this way this is what feeds it out so you have to retract it to get it in the guide and when we're honing these guides we put the head in a cabinet and we hone it with sun and hone oil and uh, it gets kind of messy because, I mean, you're honing 12, 13, 16 valve guides between two heads. And before we put this into the valve guide to hone it and stroke it, we'll take this truing sleeve. We'll set this truing sleeve up, hit it with some WD-40 or even a little bit of hone oil. You don't want much on it. And you're going to stroke this hone in and out of this truing sleeve. You're going to count the strokes. Let's say you hone it five, stroke it five times, and you're going to flip it, stroke it another five times. This trues this stone up so it's ready to go into the guide. Okay. Then, once we have this set up, we we'd have we'd set our dial bore gauge up. What we do is we. This is set up to do the intake valves. We put it between two machined bars. And this distance here will simulate the clearance of the valve. Then we take our dial bore gauge and we zero it. Can you, I can't, yeah, you're going to have to get down. Okay, it's zeroed. Then, you can see how this thing works. It contracts or expands depending on how big the valve guide is. Okay, so let's take it over to the valve guide. So we've got it set up to, to set the clearance on intakes. Now this guide's been honed. We like to shoot for about 1.2 thousandths clearance. And we're, we're We're within about a tenth, roughly, to two tenths of that clearance. If you can get on there close and show it to me. So we wrote about 12 ten thousandths clearance on the intake guide and about 
15 10 thousandths on the exhaust guide. Uh, if these were a smooth wall K line, we'd run more clearance, but these are an interrupted spiral, so they hold a little bit of oil. You can run these a little tighter. Uh, again, if you can run it tighter and get away with that without it season, that's good because you're transferring heat better and uh, the valve job and everything just lasts longer. So that's the process on honing the valve guides.